You might find the atmosphere a bit worrisome. Welcome, Kalo. We've been expecting you. Who are you? Someone like you. A Kryptonian. Impossible. Krypton was destroyed. True. <laughs> But you do not know the entire history. You see, Krypton was on the brink of extinction. I offered a solution to your father, jor to expand across the galaxies, so our species can live again. But what did he do? He betrayed me and I was found with treason, sentenced to the Phantom Zone where there is no purpose, no destiny. Only beings like the Lord of Order and Chaos knows his existence. I don't believe this. He's right, Clark. Kara. I knew your parent cousin. The pod that brought you to Earth was separated when Krypton exploded. I was vanquished to a desolated world where Zod found me and took me in, training me to be the warrior and survival that I am now. This is all too much. Should I be thanking you? Gratitude is not required. We have to restore what was lost. You give us the Codex and Krypton will live again. How do you intend on rebuilding Krypton? It must be built on the foundation. And Earth is the perfect Zohala. What would happen to the people of Earth? And if they resist your proposition? There is no proposition. For Krypton to live again, Earth must. If you think I'm going to be a part of this, you must be out of your mind, genius. Tell us to me about sacrifice, boy. Your father doomed all of Krypton because of fear. The antithesis of that is will, and I have the will to do what I must to save my people. Sad to see you raised a failure like yourself. Quark, you are Krypton. The people of Earth are not yours. They will reject you and never accept what you are. Come home, cousin. It is time. You're gonna have to make a choice. No. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to get your circus clown sheep out of my orbit while we fucking kill you. Are you with him or me, Kara? You have 24 hours. I told you he won't listen. I know. Perhaps when he's lost it all, he will remember thy words. General, it appears the Codex was embedded in kal -El's DNA. He breathes new Krypton. Does kal -El need to be alive to extract the Codex? No. Said Cosmo Metropolis. First, we strike his heart. Bruce, it was good to see Krypton alive again. Being so isolated for many years makes me ponder the result was right. Ever heard that saying? When everything seems so good and happening so fast, it always results in destruction. Sometimes I wonder why I'm friends with you. Because I'm rich. Can't fix damages on a reporter's salary. General, have you made your choice? Indeed. Behold your wife and daughter. <laughs> Don't even think about it. This is your last warning, kal -El. Surrender the Codex and your homeworld, and I will spare their lives. Bruce? <sighs> Very well. Oh God. No sacrifice, no victory.
Thank you, Adam. It's nothing. I would have done the same for my family. The battle is not over yet. Saad intends on taking everything by force. I am not asking you all to fight this war, but this is our home, and we protect it. Because we family. They are Kryptonians, strong as Superman. We must fight till we get them. It is our duty to bring justice to this world, not because they don't deserve it, but because it is the right thing to do. Now let's go kill that son of a bitch.